Okay, so it's like five, four, three, two, one, and it's my birthday! Yay! Like, okay, this thing is not helping because, of course, it's not, um, it's, it's not, like, it's not even the right time. But, I'm pretty sure, like, at some point, it was my birthday here on this video. And yeah, because I, I started recording like it was five or, or something like that, like five, four or whatever. So whatever, it's not officially my birthday. Um, so yay. Uh, oh my gosh, life here is great. Um, so it's my 27th birthday and this is like the first video diary of, 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 uh, of me being 27 and I have decided that I'm going to like, be uh, making doing whatever I need to like learn more English um a lot of video diaries uh, this year especially like every first I'm gonna I'm gonna have like I'm gonna try to have like my phone with enough storage available so that I'm gonna record every first I have of my 27 years because this is like this was my favorite like this was what I was looking forward I really wanted to turn 27 and I really wish I survived this 27, uh, oh my god, I'm like totally blank, I don't even know how to say it in Spanish, so it's not like I can't even translate or whatever, but I really hope I survive this age, that's what I want to say. Um, so, I know I should have made like some New Year's resolutions, and, and New Year's was really crappy, and, and everything has just gone all wrong, so I decided to have a... New Year's be like a new year began once I turned 27, which is now or uh, one or two minutes ago. Um, so what I chose is uh, I'm not gonna be like, hey, this is my list of resolutions. I'm just gonna start like uh, with baby steps. So the first thing would be um, see usually I'm like an open book. And that has brought me like many positive things and many negative things. Uh, one thing is that you become too vulnerable. See, I'm too trusting with strangers. That's my big problem, clearly. And that is something that I need to work on. However, I also like, I don't know. I'm also too scared to do things. See, it's like, it, it goes like, both ways and on and on actually that's not the right expression what I want to say is like I, I, I'm I can go to extremes so I can even like trust too much or fear too much and I have learned that for me trusting works best so I'm really scared of posting this video because I know people will make fun of me and, and they're they're gonna be like hey you're so boring or whatever or lame and, and people on uh, the internet can be really mean, but I should learn not to care because I should learn that I'm doing this for myself and I'm doing this so that when I grow old, I can either say, hey, look, that was me when I was young or make fun of myself or feel sorry for myself, whichever works. Um, but I'm doing this for me. And and so there, there are like, there's like so much I wish I could share, but um, mainly this is something I'm doing for myself. Uh, I, I, I have this problem that I can't really, like, I forget a lot of things. Which helps when you're trying to forgive, but, um, yeah, I, I forget a lot. And, and, and my grandmother on my father's side, and I call her Alma, she's like, uh, half, half, uh, German. She got Alzheimer's, and I'm... I, it just really affected me because I can see myself totally having that in the future and, and, and if already now as it is it's really like it causes me a lot of anxiety not to remember things and I'm like oh my gosh what happened like and it's not even like a like a drunk blackout or anything it's like me being sober and then someone telling me a week later like hey do you remember this and I'm like I don't and I could have been paying attention or, or little things you know I have like little little obsessions and and if someone knows it, like a really good shrink, that would be like a really good thing to work on. But um, so here's the thing: I'm gonna be uh, doing this video diaries, and and 
I had been thinking about this for a long time, like since I was 21. Um, but I think my balloon's right there, but it looks like it says 21, but it's 27. Um, so it's like six years. Six years I've been giving this a thought, and I didn't do this because I thought like, oh my gosh, this needs to be perfect. Like, if I'm gonna post something, like my first video has to be like amazing and really good. And then I realized like there are so many things that I always like, kick or push or whatever and I'm like hey I'll just I procrastinate so much and I'm like I'm gonna just gonna do it later because I want everything to be perfect and it's never gonna be because not because the, the thing itself is not perfect as it is after all perfection is just a construction made by our minds but it's the fact that my brain as it works will always find something that I did not do to make myself feel miserable about it and I'm gonna I'm always gonna be like I could have done this and I didn't and yet that that thing of I could have done this extra thing and I didn't is better than I didn't do this at all and I'm getting older and um, sure afterwards you're gonna be thinking like oh gosh why did I do that but it's still better than oh my gosh why didn't I do it so I don't know I have like a lot of stories from the past but I want to start like um just just focusing on, on today and one day at a time and I have been thinking like maybe I should have like a Facebook page which I I really don't want to because people on Facebook are really mean and I, and I read the comments and I'm like why is there so much hate in the world um but like I said this is for myself this is so I don't know, like maybe when I'm 80, there won't be a Facebook or whatever, but still the videos are, are, are I will hopefully be saved on some cloud of some sort. I, I've also like lost a lot of data because of me being silly and, and, and not doing proper backups. And actually once I had an external hard disk and it fell and, and it fell because I tried to move it from one place to another so it wouldn't fall like but I was just too clumsy and and then I lost like at least seven years of information and, and pictures and videos and and stuff and, and what really hurts is when you have a picture with someone who's who, who passed away because you know there's there's no way of getting that back um, but but the memory is there like you know um, so first thing I should say which is sort of related to this, is that I, and this is something that, um, I shouldn't have probably, I probably shouldn't like start a, like my new video and, and celebrating my birthday, remembering someone who passed away and it was something that makes me sad, but this is, uh, this was a friend very dear to me. We were not really that close, as in like, we talk every day or whatever, no, but she, uh, she was an angel. She was one of those people, like, you know, she had, like, this light, like, her eyes would just shine every time. And she had all this really great vibes. And you could be, like, having the worst day ever, and she would just make you feel like everything was okay. You know, she was so cool and so, so, because the word is zen, I don't know. And then... She passed away and I found out, thank God I found out on Facebook because I know many of my friends found out on the news. And everybody was still like, posting pictures with her on, on her wall. And that's when I realized I, I knew this girl ever since my freshman year in college and I, I never, like not once, took a picture with her. And, and, and I always remember her, like I, I constantly do because like, like I said, we're not those kind of friends that like who talk every single day, but every time I saw her, it was like so amazing. And um, I guess that's where my obsession for selfies and, and, and recording everything starts. And afterwards, that, that was like even more with my, my grandmother um, having Alzheimer's. So, oh my gosh, this is gonna be like a really long video. Um, but like I said, this is for myself. So, I really don't mind if people watch it or not because it's not it's not for someone else. I wish I would. like sometime some sorry, someday I will do something for someone else, but this one this one's for me. 
Um, I do hope that I can, I can, I can help people. Uh, I do hope that people can help me, and I value criticism. And uh, as long as it's constructive, you know, and it's like, hey, you know, you're, you're doing this in a way, and I think you could improve it this other way, not just like you suck, you're lame, uh, your makeup's not good or whatever. Um. So yeah, I, I totally keep forgetting what I want to say. I'm really nervous because I really like this. Are my first minutes as a 27 year old, and um. Yes, it's gonna be crappy recording every little thing, but this is like an age I have been looking forward to. Like my 26 years sucked, like literally. Okay, not literally, figuratively, but I mean they, they really sucked. They, they were really bad. Like I, I I learned a lot of things. I did lose some weight. I mean finally after how many years was it? Like five years. I, I, I managed to to um, see I'm, I'm I'm five foot one that is uh, one meter and fifty two fifty three centimeters uh, and I, I lied to myself a lot because uh, for, for the military people in Peru I'm one fifty five which is okay wait no that's five foot one I think I'm actually just five foot for size so I'm pretty much uh, the same height of one as one of the Olsen twins, uh, Lady Gaga, and I don't know who else. Um, and, and I was weighing, I don't know how many pounds, but that's like uh, 66 kilos, which is way too much. And uh, I hadn't been 57 since I was 21. So um, actually 20. Yeah, since I was 20. So yeah, oh my gosh, seven years. Uh, well, no, I, I lost weight last year, so six years. Six years, and and I was in this really complicated relationship, and I I was so stressed and anxious, and I actually lost weight. So so that that was a good thing, but that's probably the only good thing that happened last year. So, and it's not even that good. Um, geez, I'm thirsty. Okay. Um, when I was 25. <clears throat> I also thought that was gonna be my year, but it wasn't. When I was 24, I also thought it was gonna be my year, and it wasn't. 23 is a number I don't like. <coughs> um, Twenty-two was rather interesting, but uh, 21, 21 was a good year. But after 21, like, a number I really liked was 27. 25 as well, because that's like five squared. In, 27 is 3 times 3 times 3 and that's that's real interesting because 3 is one of my favorite numbers 7 is another of my favorite numbers and I actually have a trick tattooed on my back and that's like you know the <clears throat> you know that's I just have this thing with the number 3 so I really hope this will be my year so oh I was talking about resolutions that's how it works I forget um I, although it is not healthy to record every little first I have uh, as a 27 year old, um, I don't know, I decided I would give it a try. It's not healthy, it's not recommended, or at least that, this, does, this is just my personal opinion, um, and it's obsessive and it's caving into my obsessions instead of trying to work and, and, and overcome all these obstacles, but you know, I thought, whatever. You know, I'll use this as a way of not procrastinating. So, um, yeah. It's not necessarily a good thing, but, yeah. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? I totally, like, my ex-boyfriend was talking to me, and we FaceTimed because I wanted to see him. And then he said something bad, and then I just, like, said goodbye. And I didn't like I didn't take a screenshot or anything. It's stupid, you know, because it's like I I only f FaceTimed to do that, and I didn't. So 27 years old, everything's changing. Um, I'll, I'll I'll try to remember what my purpose is whenever I do something, because it's really easy to to forget what you want 
and then you, you just like get caught. Of course, this is a silly example, but I mean, applying it to a bigger picture, you forget what you want, and then you get distracted, and then you, you, you get into an argument sometimes, and then you forget what you really wanted, and then you're like, oh my gosh, I lost focus, and now I have nothing. Um, okay, what else? Um, I guess, I don't know, this is like my first resolution. It's a way of like stop procrastinating, stop waiting for the perfect moment because it's never going to be perfect because perfection is just construction. And just do things, you know, and if you messed up, then you messed up, but at least you have it. And, and, and this is another thing, um, because I forget, I thought maybe if I talk about the memory, I would remember later, like, hey, I, I totally like... I'm talking about this, and, and, and this is what I remember, and then, you know, like, oh, yeah, now no, I sort of remember this thing. And, um, so, yeah, first thing, I'm, I'm going to stop procrastinating. I'm going to try to always keep my phone with enough space, which is going to be hard. Um, I'm going to try not caring about what people think, which is going to be really difficult because I do care about what people say about me or actually say to me, because that's even worse, because words really hurt. I'm going to try to um, help people and accept people's help, even if I don't like the way they're helping me, because I want to believe that most people, if they say something, it's either that if they if someone attacks you, it's because they're really hurting. But I, I do want to understand what's going on and use it as a as a like a like an opportunity to be like, hey, you know what? Like I know you're suffering, I'm suffering too. Maybe we should work together on something instead of just trying to bring us down. Um and two lovely creatures that I would love to include uh, here are my hamsters and I know most people I know don't like them because they're considered rats they're not they're actually pretty cute well one of them is the other one is um pretty aggressive his name is uh, Rasputin but in Spanish it's funny because it's like Rasputin and um, the other one is caramelo or caramel because it's uh, because of his fur He's, he's the son of uh, Rasputin, and Rasputin is an albino, so it's, it's, um, they look so different, and also Karamel is like sort of, he's not thin, he's just like a normal hamster, I think Rasputin is too fat, but I don't overfeed them, like I feed them the exact same amount of food. Um, and they were the ones who were here when I turned uh, 27. Because everybody else went to sleep. By everybody else, I made my friends over here. Like, like of course, they stayed until uh, it was past midnight. Because that's like, hey, it's your birthday. And um, and and my mom and my grandma who went to sleep. But um, I think probably my ex-boyfriend is still awake. Because I, I was receiving uh, texts from him as, as I was uh, recording this. <clears throat> So yeah, so so just to say goodbye, because this is just like, uh, according to me, the lamest video ever, but I'm happy because I, I dared to do something that I wouldn't have done before. I dared to to not, like, not to procrastinate and, and do it and, and not be scared, like, hey, it's going to be so lame. And that's really big for me, because that means, like, I, I dared to do something and I did. So, so there they are. Um, you can see him moving and he's going into his wheel, is he? Yep, he is. And you cannot see Rasputin because he's like, not only because he's white, but because he's hiding. Um, there you are. Oh, what did it wake you up? <laughs> he's really grumpy though. He doesn't like being bothered. He's Oh, that's cute. Come on. Come on, honey. There you go. Hey, Zach.
say hi to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think I should actually get a shot with my balloons. This is. Uh, I've been struggling with this all night. So. There. 27. And. This is like the dearest thing I got. That's. That's my Oma, and that's, okay, so that's my mom, and my other grandma, <laughs> and that's, that's my Opa, so that's, um, my, my grandfather, this is my other grandfather, and where's daddy, okay, so this,